So I believe this is tutorial number 6. Okay, we're going to be adding floors. Okay, kita nak add lantai dekat project kita. Okay, so what we can do adalah first kali, uh, click on the lower level. Sebab we're going to create our floors dekat lower level dahulu and then later on we're going to go to entry level pula. Okay, then go to your architecture tab. Macam biasa, try to find the, the commands that we would like to use. Okay, so now we're going to use floor. Okay, floor architecture. Click on it. Okay, dan kita kena pastikan here at the modify ni, we are under the boundary line. Okay, because we're going to be working with boundary lines. Then we're going to click on pick lines. Okay, yang ni. The green one is the pick lines tool. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. Then, kita akan start melukis. Okay, we're going to try to pick all the lines yang ada. Okay, so kita akan pick lines yang dekat bagian dalam ni. I'm going to zoom it a little bit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these are the lines that I've picked for my floor. Okay, sekarang saya tekan the finish mode. Okay, so dia akan keluar warning. Dia akan mengatakan lines cannot intersect each other. The highlighted lines currently intersect. Artinya, dia tak boleh ada intersection. Intersect. Okay, sesama sendiri. Okay, so I'm going to continue. So, kita tengok dekat mana yang intersect sebenarnya. There, here. Okay, dia intersect dekat sini. Dan juga dia intersect dekat sini. Okay. So, sekarang ni. Cara kita nak jadikan dia tak intersect is we're going to use this tool again. Trim dan extend. Okay, remember trim extend ni kita boleh trim. Eh, kita boleh cut off, kita trim ataupun kita nak panjangkan. We want to extend something. Okay, so I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to choose the lines that I want. Okay, the lines yang saya nak. So I'm going to choose this and this. Okay, so you see dia dah tak ada intersect. Dah. Then, I'm going to choose this and this. Okay. So, bila kita dah pilih ni, kita click on the finish mode sekali lagi. Okay. Then, dia akan keluar this pop-up. Would you like walls to go up to this floor level to attach to its bottom? Okay. So, kita tak nak attach. Don't attach. So, we're going to click here and then kita akan click on don't attach. Remember, don't attach eh. Okay. So, I'm going to click no. So, bila dia dah keluar biru macam ni, okay, artinya lantai kita dah jadi. Okay, dekat lower level. Okay. So, then, lantai satu dah selesai. Okay, and then the second one, kita uh, will be creating our second walls dekat entry level. So, click on your entry level. Okay, zoom sikit. Then, click lines. Okay, so, architecture. Kita nak buat floor kan? So, tekan floor. Then, kita pergi pastikan boundary line. Then, kita akan gunakan line. Tadi, kita guna this one kan? Pick lines ni kan? Okay. So, sekarang ni kita boleh nak guna pick line. Sebab, I want to show you on how kalau kita nak draw a new line. Okay. So, I'm going to choose line. Okay. Lepas tu, kita pastikan chain ni dah selected eh. Okay. Kalau tak select, nanti dia akan berputus-putus garisan kita. So, we're going to select the chain. Okay. Kita tak memerlukan any offsets. Okay, so then now, kita akan start melukis. Alright. Daripada sini, okay, kejap eh. Okay, so from here, okay. From here, pergi ke sini, kita akan masukkan jumlah 11,000. Okay. Tekan enter. Okay. So, dia sangkut sampai sini. Okay, one. Lepas tu, kita akan sambung lagi. Sampai ke sini. Okay. Dekat sini kan. Ha, you nampak garisan. Pastikan dia lurus ni. Okay. Kita nak dia sama garisan dengan your luar punya garisan ni. Okay. So, dekat sini eh. Kita nak garisan yang ni eh. Okay. So, you can see the blue dotted line there. Okay. Then, you click there. Lepas tu, kita akan pergi ke tepi. Okay. Kita akan masukkan jumlah 7,000. Enter. 
Okay, sehingga situ. Dan kita akan pergi ke bawah. Okay, dan kita akan cari the intersection dengan yang ni. So, click here. Lepas tu kita akan closing. Okay, sorry. Saya so, control Z satu kali eh. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Lepas tu saya akan ambil the inner wall. Okay, from here. Inner wall yang ni. Kan, kita akan sampai ke sini. Okay. Lepas tu kita akan naik atas balik semula and click here. Alright, so itu adalah our second floor walls. Eh, sorry. Our second floor floor. Okay, then saya akan click finish mode. Okay, so this is the second one. Okay, keluar daripada command, double escape ataupun click on modify. Okay, so now kita akan pergi ke our 3D view. Okay. So, kalau kita orbit ke sini, then we can see. Kita dah ada lantai dekat sini, dekat luar. Kan? Tapi kita tak nampak. Okay. So, kalau kita nak menampakkan, we want to see what's happening inside. Kan? Then, kita boleh buat macam ni. So, everybody, click on your wall. Okay. Bila dah click on satu wall, then you go to your view control bar. Okay. Yang bawah ni adalah view control bar. Okay, you click on the glasses ni, cermin mata. Okay, it says temporary height isolate. So, I'm going to click here. Okay, lepas tu, kita akan hide element. Okay, kita nak hide element. Hide. So, bila kita dah hide, barulah kita nampak kat bahagian dalam. So, this is one floor. Saya tekan shift and this is the, sorry, dengan tekan control, this is the second floor. Okay, so kenapa, macam mana kita nak pastikan itu adalah floor. So, when you click on it, Okay, you look at your properties. Ni, dia ada stated here, floor generic 150mm. Okay, and then this one is the second floor. Okay, floor generic 150mm. Okay, so those are the uh, materials that they use dengan size dia semua. Okay, so kita dah nampak ni. Okay, then kalau kita nak adjust, Kita nak tutup balik semula. Okay, so you go back to your glasses ni. Temporary height. Click on it. And then you tekan reset temporary height isolate. Okay, so bila you click on it. And then you boleh tutup balik dinding you. Okay, so sekarang ni saya nak ajar section box eh. Salah satu cara kalau kita nak tengok bahagian dalam lagi satu adalah you, you, you gonna use your section box. Okay, so go to your properties here. And then this is your section box. Click on it. Automatically there's gonna be a box dekat sini. Okay, so kalau kita nak tengok dekat bahagian dalam of your box, uh, of your house ni. Okay, so click on it and then you can see small arrows here. So what you can do adalah you tarik the arrows. Okay, you tarik the arrows. Lagi tak cukup tarik. Then you tarik a little bit more. Then you boleh tengok your interior of the house. Okay, you can see your floors. So this is the padding. This is the floor and this is the floor. Okay. So, when you have this box, the section box ni, you boleh lah nak cut macam mana pun. So, let's say you want to cut here. Okay. So, you can see inside. Okay. Kalau you nak naikkan balik pun boleh. Oh, you nak cut lagi sampai ke lower level. Okay. You can cut lagi. Okay. Nak naikkan balik pun boleh. Okay. So, if you want to close your section box, go back to your properties. Lepas tu, uncheck this. Then, tak adalah your section box. Okay, please don't forget to save your work. Okay, on the next video, kita akan buat on adding the interior walls. Okay, see you then. Thank you.